Uh, good day everyone. I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, I want to ask you a favor tonight. Please help me to share these uh, videos because um, YouTube and uh, Facebook, they shadow ban my posts. Um, I, I share a lot. They do not sh uh, um, post this to you or make you aware of this post or they try to hide it from you. Even when I do write in people's, uh, you know, on Watchman's uh, site, uh, channel, <laughs> it doesn't come up. I don't know why, but nevertheless, I do it to mo most of the people, but please help me to to share these videos. I ask, I humbly ask you to do so. Thank you. I, uh, my uh, healing is coming okay. I'm, yeah, I'm on the mend, and it's just my arm uh, where I took out the, uh, the land that was heavy swollen. And I draw some fluid out there last week, and it was still painful. Otherwise, I am fine. Uh, thanks, everyone, for the prayer. Uh, tonight's subject is Revelation 12. One is a seven-year rapture warning sign. 2070 to 2024, 12 years. Another two will follow. Uh, it is a fact. I know many of us, we desire the Lord to come. Uh, they said 20, 2023, uh, um, <laughs> we will not make it. No, we will make it through, uh, through the grace of Jesus Christ. God operates in seven, and it is always in sevens. Yes, there was uh, the... Uh, ju the Jubilee cycle op also operate in sevens, and that ended last year, uh, October, uh, October yeah, 27th. And uh, this is also the beginning of the first, the first year cycle of uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh's dream of the lean years. The seven fat cows is over. We are in the seven, seven lean years. However, this is a seven-year sign from 2017. And that's the time when Donald Trump became president. Yeah. So another two uh, seven-year follows after this one. So set your uh, notifications for this. It, it, um, I will sh share it within this coming uh, coming week. Uh, not this coming week. The, maybe in, uh, by Monday and uh, next week. So the other one will follow. Yeah, and that is a fact. And as I state, we have to prepare ourselves. We all thought uh, the rapture would happen in 2017, but it was not to be. It's actually a seven-year sign to 2024. And I'll explain now uh, you in full detail what I'm meaning by that. Yeah, now the great sign, Revelation 12 sign, and there appeared a great wonder in heavens, a wonder clothed with the sun, the moon under feet, and upon the head a crown with 12 stars. This happened to be September 20, uh, 23rd, 2017. As another sign that also appeared at the, the dragon, uh, the Re Revelation 12, uh, 3 verse, uh, verse 4. And that sign here, I want to just uh, uh, add a little bit onto it. And there appeared another wonder in the heavens, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns. Now, what are those seven heads and ten horns? Do you know that seven heads and ten horns? That seven heads is our continents, the seven continents of the world that they divide into ten regions. Those ten horns are ten kings. I already had a video about that. Uh, how they're going to be spread? Uh, that's you know you know some of them already. Some of you think they are the the, the Antichrist, but they're not. Macarius, one of the ten kings. Putin is one of the ten kings. Netanyahu is one of the ten kings. These are the ten horns. So this is what the New World Order structure they divided into ten uh, 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 ten regions and. Uh, 
I, oh, many uh, watchmen say, yeah, they will not be able to control the world. But that's not what the world says. And he calls all. He calls all. Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now I just want to say a little bit further about this. And he still drew a third oath of the stars of heaven and did cast them out to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman. Which, now listen carefully. This is seven years. This sign happened to uh, be in also 2017. Right? It started on Feast of Hanaku. Feast of Hanaku. This sign was happened to uh, be born. I had a video on that, but it's a little bit cracky. Uh, the sound is not so nice, but you can listen to it if you want to, uh, uh, if you would like to. Um, this deals with a new world order signs. How they going to uh, operate? And they already, you know about the new world order. Now they're planning uh, to operate it, you know. And they are busy plan, putting the plans, the, the final points, to finalize it. And we see prophecy being fulfilled uh, at, uh, at a rapid rate. Even the, the Jewish Messiah, we see him... Um, you know how he's persecuted and he may go to jail. That is part of, uh, uh, you know, the things that he had to uh, go through or has been planned or whatever it is. Those are the, uh, those are the plans. Revelation 12.5. Now he stood before the woman. This is just Revelation 12.4. He stood before the woman which was ready to be loved. Which is ready to be loved. Now, now this... Uh, uh, make me think, you know, and this is what popped in my mind. It started already from, from 2017. That, uh, that is a, it's a process over seven years, people. Yeah. They, they, uh, they became born again and they were waiting on, on, upon the Lord, you know, and it's a seven year process. And s Satan seeks to devour a child. Now, who is a child? A man child. A child. Uh, you see, brought forth a man child. That is, of course, let me show you. This is a video that you can watch. Uh, I already explained that. The man child is uh, Yun Asen, which is a head of Jesus Christ and the body of the Rapture Church. And a child, this is us, is this, a child is called Technon, is the body who is body of Christ who is going to be raptured. The, um, those uh, truly born again, it will be raptured. Now, that man, it's, it's, it's brought for the man child, which is Jesus Christ, as I said, and was going to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. Yes, and uh, that is coming in the millennium. And the child, which is us, that will be caught, Technon will be caught up to his throne room. But... He seeks to devour a child as soon as it was born. And I do believe, I'm not saying it correctly, it is, but there is a period, you know, on the last part. You must understand, it's not a physical birth. It's a spiritual birth that is taking place. It's a spiritual birth. And Satan seeks to devour, to devour the child. And uh, we are in that process of going through that process, being sifted by Satan. And I have been truly sifted with this uh, uh, sickness. And I said it to uh, you people in the, in the beginning of the year, the word the Lord gave me, that Satan seek to sift the, the, the bride. Yes, before she was born. And Satan seek to kill her. Even before she is born, what do you mean by born? Being translated, being translated from the our physical realm to the fourth dimension, and Satan is coming from being being demoted to the to the third dimension, and that is what's going to happen. But before that happens, Satan will try to 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 stone us. Kill us through through those stones, just like G, uh, uh, like Herod tried to kill Jesus, and so that is the uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 devouring that is taking place, 
and he is seeking us. We say as a seven-year process, we saw the uh, pandemic that took place, and Satan wants to take out as many as possibly can. And let me tell you, many of my friends died during this process. Yeah, even those who took the Jews, they died. Yeah, but if you took it, you have to repent. That is the criteria. There are many watchmen that tells you, no, no, that is not the case. Uh, 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 you're going straight to hell. No, 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 no. I believe, I believe you can still repent of that unless your, um, your DNA and I has been, uh, been, uh, been tampered with already. But that happened. God gave the, those giants and everybody else to repent during that time. And well, of course, we all know they did not. And they were all gone in the flood. So this is the important part that I want to share with you. It's another part uh, that I want to share with you, and this is this part. Uh, and I go you further. Now the Revelation 12 sign, as I said, is a seven-year warning sign. It's a seven-warning si rapture sign to 2024. Now during 2017, we saw the Revelation great sign, a birth in a sky. Jesus himself was born with a sign in heaven. The Revelation 12 sign of 2007 present a birth, a birth in a sky. That's what uh, happened to uh, us. We, uh, um, that, from the, that was the starting point where every, everyone looking for the rapture, but it wasn't, you know. And, uh, yeah, whilst it's pointing to the birth of Jesus, it is also understood to be a seven warning, warning according to the Old Testament context sign of, of Joseph. And I already share, shared that Joseph uh, video with you. Now the symbolism of the sign involving the sun, the moon and the stars. Revela not Revelation, uh, Genesis 1 verse 14. And what I want to say to you right now, we are not into Passover right now. The correct Passover, the biblical Passover is only 4th, uh, 4th of May, 4th to 5th of May. It's either 29 or days, 30 days. I think it's from the 4th of May that it will start. And uh, on a full moon that happened, we just check when is the full moon in, uh, in, in May, the beginning of May. And that is the, the, the real, real Passover. That is when the sun happens to be in Aries. Currently the sun, currently the sun is in... Um, in uh, um, Pisces, it has to be whenever um, uh, Noah or anybody uh, that uh, didn't observe, uh, you know, every seventh year, they uh, uh, must rest the land. So if they want to know what is Passover, they only look up to the sun and they look at uh, the sun uh, to be in Aries and then they know it is Passover. That is simple as it is. Not uh, uh, a lot of us. It's so simple. God gave us a sign. He said it will be for signs, times, and seasons. Right? Now, here's some of this symbolism of this Revelation uh, 12, one sign is involving the sun, the moon, and the 12 stars again. And that coming from the story of Joseph. God gave Joseph a seven year warning to prepare for the seven year famine. And this is, this is similar to the uh, uh, Revelation 12 sign. It's a seven-year warning to the rapture people. This is how God does it. And I'm going to give you another two, another two after this video. So set your notification for it. So if the Revelation 12 uh, a sign of 2017 proves to be an approximate seven-year warning, the current war that you already seen that started last year, February, that will be almost a three-and-a-half-year period. And at this climax, climax, World War, World War III will most likely reach its climax around uh, the fall of 2024 with a nuclear war. Just as that lady, that 90-year-old lady said, uh, 
uh, that will happen during uh, the, that will happen. It will happen in the rapture, just after the rapture. Then nuclear new a world with three will begin. So what you see is a setting setting forth. Uh, even the, uh, the current uh, unrest in Israel. That's the place we need to uh, to watch. Yes. So uh, have your notifications set for the uh, for the next two. It's not be. I would love Jesus to come 2023, but there is still work that needs to be done. We need to be vigilant. Jesus said, "Be as wise as a serpent, but as be as meek as a lion." People, a lot of things are happening in the, uh, right now, but fix your eyes upon Jesus. Uh, difficult times is coming, especially next year. We already see banks, uh, uh, several banks are uh, 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 closing down in America. People will lose their money. Yeah, so be prepared, but don't stop giving. Don't do, uh, stop doing good. And that is a process. I just read uh, tonight's scripture. Um, where uh, let me just find it. The uh, Lord gave it to me. Uh, that's a scripture tonight. Uh, uh, where is it now? Yeah, yeah. It says, "Honor, honor the Lord with thy uh, substance and with the first fruit of thine increase. So shall thy barn be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine." Even if you don't have any money, and if you Honor God with your substance. That is time when God will honor you. God will, God will honor us. You will see miracles. But do not stop people. So be blessed. Please do share this video. I love you all and I'm always praying for you.